As you may recall from previous videos, in November of 2023, I was in Vietnam, but for only 36 hours. And I spent the majority of that time deep in the Vietnamese jungles. We found some amazing snakes and other reptiles and amphibians. And in this bonus video, I'm taking you back to the jungles of Vietnam to introduce you to some of the coolest reptiles we found on that brief expedition. I'm Dave Kaufman, and these are my reptile adventures. We're getting on our motorbikes and we're gonna hit the road, but first, there's a little something on this tree you guys gotta see. It's not a herp, but look at that way cool snail. These guys are huge and this one isn't even a big one. Okay, that is super cool. And the trees are just kinda, look at that, they're just kinda covered with them. Wow, oh my God, Vietnam is full of awesomeness. Look at that big spider right next to that big old snail. Look at the size of that thing. We haven't even left the hotel yet. I mean, literally, there's our hotel. We haven't even left yet. These are just the trees right in front of our hotel. Vietnam After Dark is unreal. Can't wait to get out there and see what we find tonight. You uh, like my helmet? I feel like one of the village people over here. All right, are we ready to go? We're leaving the snails behind. I've got my flashlight and I've got my seat. And off we go. All right, here we go. Okay, let's go. All right, we're heading into the jungle from here. This is gonna be awesome. Pass the checkpoint. And clear. <laughs> Look at this, we've got our first herp of the night on the side of the road. This is a big rain frog. It looks like a tomato frog, actually. I'll look it up. I'll put the name on the screen right there. All right. Oh, uh, hey, you and Matt, well, we're leaving you behind. So we're cruising down the road and we saw the vehicle ahead of us hit this beautiful Malaysian pit viper. We don't know if he's gonna be okay or not. He looks all right, so we're just gonna get him off the road, but man, what a beautiful snake and what a shame. He looks okay, but you can see where he was hit though. Oh, buddy, I hope you're gonna be okay. Uh, God, I hate seeing that. All right, so it started raining, really downpouring, and that makes it really difficult to herp in the rain on the back of a motorbike. But uh, there's a well over here, and we're finding some cool stuff over here. A lot of frogs, a lot of toads bouncing across the road. But uh, right over here, it looks like they got a scorpion. We're going to go check that out. Still got to wear this. Oh, look at that gnarly dude. Looks like an Asian forest scorpion, okay. maybe. I am not an arachnid guy. This is not Tarantula Collective or Tarantula Cat, but it is a cool scorpion. Comment below if you know what scorpion this is. I think it's an Asian forest scorpion, but I don't know. That is super cool. All right, buddy. We're just gonna let you get on your way. What do you got? Uh, slowly, it's a frog. It's a frog? Yeah. Oh, look at that. I love that cryptic coloration. Look at how much he just blends in with those leaves. And you really gotta look hard to see this guy. But that is so cool. All right, frogs and scorpions at this stop. That's pretty cool. So right in the middle of this forest, there are these wells and frogs are using these to breed in. So we're stopping along the way at these wells to try to find some frogs and the snake predators that are after the frogs. Look at that. Somebody's a foam nester. That's an actual nest of frog eggs. Oh, <laughs> tadpole just came up. So I think these are made by the foam nesting tree frog without actually seeing the frog. I'm not exactly sure, but the foam nesting tree frog is a pretty common frog here in Southeast Asia. And I'm pretty sure that's what I'm looking at there. However, they do often lay them on leaves. So I am not sure. Why are these wells here? Because people make him to uh, take the water from, for the dry season because in the dry season, there is not, they don't have a lot of water in here. Yeah. So the, the, the animal will be thirsty, so they can go to this well and have a, have water. So 
So they made these wells for all the animals to have drinking water in the dry season. Yes. And the frogs in the wet season use them as breeding ponds. That's actually really cool. All right, we've got our first snake here. Look at this guy. This is a boega. And he was just crossing the trail right here. And I had to get a good look at him to make sure that my ID was absolutely 100% correct because you make a bad ID call out here in Vietnam and that can result in a fatal bite. But this is a boega and we're gonna take a good look at him here. All right, so here he is. Whoa, dude, whoa, 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 easy now. This is one of the boega species that you are going to find out here in Vietnam. And we all know the mangrove cat-eyed snake. They're beautiful, they've got black and yellow bands. Well, this one is related to that and this one is the green cat-eyed snake. This is one of the coolest finds and I saw him going across the trail, but out here in Vietnam, you need to make absolutely 100% sure that you have a positive ID on snakes. Because if you think that it's a non-venomous snake and you just go in for the grab, and it does turn out to be a viper, you're gonna have a really bad night. So I wanted to make sure that I got a really good look at him before we picked him up off the ground. Now, boega are considered rear-fanged venomous snakes, but the venom really isn't all that medically significant to humans. You're gonna get a rash, you're gonna get a little swelling at the bite area, but it's gonna clear up on its own and you don't need really any medical attention if this guy bites you. But this is such a cool find out here in Vietnam. This is my lifer, a green cat-eyed snake. Such an amazing snake, and look at how long these guys are. These guys are perfectly suited to life either on the ground or in the trees, where they're hunting their prey of frogs, lizards, pretty much anything that they can overpower and eat, they're going to eat. Man, I've been wanting to find a green cat-eyed snake here in Southeast Asia for a long time, and I had to come to Vietnam to do it. Just absolutely fantastic. All right, so I've known this dude since 2008, and now Dave's a customer. That's right. And a friend. That's right. And an awesome dude. That's And he has this glorious mane of hair. And I Dave do. loves Shippy Reptiles. Yes. Because and with the amount of money that I save on using Shippy Reptiles, I can afford some really nice shampoo. So for all your reptile shipping needs, visit ShipYourReptiles.com or visit the link in the description below. Sorry, they don't sell shampoo. So we just pulled off to these little shops here. The guy in this shop just caught a crate and we're gonna go release it. All right, so we brought the crates to the edge of town over here. There's a forest over there, but look at that beautiful crate. This is a Malayan crate. Where's his head? Right there. This guy was caught in this guy's shop just last night. Very nice of him not to kill it, but to put it in his jug so that uh, it could be released at the edge of town. Anybody else around the world would probably just kill this snake on sight. So this is a Malayan crate. It's also called a banded Malayan crate. And this is one of the most venomous snakes here in Vietnam. And this snake is responsible for more human deaths than almost any other snake in Vietnam. And there's monocled cobras and there's king cobras here. But just look at how beautiful this snake is with those thick bands. Almost looks like a California king snake. But we're gonna release him right here and hopefully he's gonna have a long, happy, healthy life. A Malayan crate here in Vietnam this is so amazingly awesome, and this is such a beautiful snake. Come here, buddy. And we're done. <laughs> Vietnam was one of the most amazing places I've been to yet, and I will most definitely be returning as soon as I can because there is so much more I want to explore and so many more reptiles I have yet to find. So remember, every other Tuesday, you'll find bonus videos on this channel as well as my regular uploads on Saturday. So until next time, thanks for watching, and until the next reptile adventure, love the planet, feed your reptile obsession, and rattle on.